Hi there, this is Diego from NutriAdmin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust your uh, tables in a report and how to add borders. So when you generate a report, you may get a table like this one that already has some styling, but you can also add tables by clicking table. And let's say I add a four by three table. So now if I type some random data inside, uh, you notice that the table has this black border on the bottom and this gray border. So let's say I want to make it all black to be consistent. Then you can select the table and click here, properties, advanced, border, solid, color, just black. Okay. And in order to make it work, you may also have to say that the border is one pixel. So one PX, one pixel wide. Okay, and now it saves it, right? So I'm gonna save this report. And you may think that this has solved the problem, but when you refresh the page, you see that the uh, borders didn't get saved. So the reason for that is that the borders have been applied sort of to the table, but by default, there are, you know, Travis has the styles that are styling the rows and the cells in the table. So the rows and the cells are inside the table themselves and they are overwriting those border styles. So to fix it, you can select all the uh, elements like this and go to table and go to row, row properties. And in here, I'm gonna say, I want my border to be solid and color black. Okay, and you notice this fixes the rows. And now I'm gonna select everything again. I'm gonna say table, cell, cell properties. I'm gonna say that the border should be solid and color black as well. There we go. So now everything uh, is black. And if I save the changes, when I refresh the page, I should persist those changes. There we go. So that's how you control the borders. It may be a bit confusing, but um, once you know how it is, it's just because there are different table, row, and cell level properties. So uh, that's how it works. Thanks for watching and hope you have a nice day.